Hello, everybody. Happy Monday to you. How you doing? Welcome, 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 in. Yeah? How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> yeah. Let's say hi to some people. Delta T Gaming, thank you for the nine months. Good to see you. Had the Twitch baby. Had a Twitch baby. It's a boy. Mr. Vito, 46 months. Thank you so much, brother. Hope you're doing well. All right. 46 months is a very long time. I would have to agree. I would, I would. Maynard Gaming, thank you for the 38 months. Very kind of you. Of course. But of course. Okay. So we're good old Lonnie here. And uh, we're going to use the new camping script tonight. Which is going to make our stealth camping a little bit more difficult. Uh, to say the least. Where you guys want me to stealth? I'm going to let you pick the, the places. The Huffman 94, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate you. Uh, Jay Fitzpatrick, 31. Thank you for the nine months. I am doing well. How you doing? James Fowler, thank you for gifting a subscription to Stapes. Stapes, welcome. Robert G in the house. What's up, Robert? Good to see you, brother. It's going all right, man. It's going all right. Lord Chugga, 23. Thank you for the 13 months. Baker's Dozen. And what's that 100? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream, family. How you doing? Oh, yeah, we have to turn this up a little bit. Because we were in a helicopter last time. Nope, we're good now. Oh, I'll get here now. We're good. We're our lovely little car here. And it is a lovely car. Next to the highway? Okay. You want to do a median or you want to do on the side of the highway? Off the 13? You got it. Let's, let's go this way and we'll find a spot. In the median? All right. We'll have to find a place to park our car so it'll be out of the way. But I actually have an idea. Median off of 13? Okay. I know of a good spot we can try. The median? You got it. medium by the Braddock tunnel well we have to have some some tree cover and there's tree cover up the road I have a good place we can park the car and we can actually go hoof it to get in a spot actually that's not a bad spot right there but we need to be in a more uh, well-known place I have an idea this is the grotty compact the grotty all right All right, Lonnie, we're going to park the car over here, actually. Off the beaten path. Kind of hide it back in here. It's green. That's a good enough spot for it, I think. I have to make sure that the vehicle-related options on that is turned differently because engine always on is on right now. There we go. All right, we're going to hoof it now. Yeah, the car's going to be jeffing it. And we're going to take this median down to that group of trees, you know, that's uh, along that way. It's going to be a little bit of a walk, but it'll be worth it. If we go too far down the road, it's going to kind of make our spot. Hey, Snowy, think of the two months. Good to see you. We just need to be patient and get into our spot here. I'm going to kind of run under this way. I know where we're going to go. We followed this all along the way. Well, the smoke of the, uh, of the fire is going to give us away a little bit. You know what I mean? See this group of trees up here on the left? That's where we're going to go. Because we're going to go all out. We're going to go in the median. Let's hop this real fast. Make sure we don't get hit by a car. Car coming. Hurry up, buddy. Gotta be faster than that. 
Faster, 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 faster. We're almost there. Need to cross this little spot. There we go. Cross, cross, cross. Kind of blend into the trees here. All right. I think we're going to set our spot up over here. Need to, those are kind of closer together. Here we go. There's a group of trees right here. Might be perfect for us. Yep, right here. What a beautiful spot right here. I like it. So let's set up our tent right here. Let's see if we can do the tent right here. Uh, camp. Tent. There. We oh, <laughs> beautiful. And uh, we're going to get our campfire right right here i know it's not gonna be that stealth but we're gonna do it anyway just because we want to try to get camp stealth get out of here fire we want to kind of get don't catch my tent on fire oh there we go that's not bad uh do we e sit on the ground all right i kind of like this i kind of like this spot i mean it's asking for attention but it's trying to be stealth and not stealth because it's Lonnie. Lonnie is not the greatest for, you know, that. We can set up a tent or, or a chair and all that stuff if we want to later on. Oh, it's definitely a fire hazard. <laughs> it's definitely a fire hazard. You are not wrong. Let's get a little bit of uh, of this going. Just in case we like this little shot here of a stealth camping on the side of the highway or in the middle of the highway. All we have to do now is we just have to survive the night. I mean, it just turned night, so it is currently midnight 54. Yeah, do a east sit again, buddy. There we go. Uh, it is currently midnight, almost one in the morning, and we just have to survive the night without getting caught by the cops, which we're doing a little bit here. Uh, bushes, they don't catch on fire. In GTA 5. Like that. The ground will. If there's like sufficient grass. But no. Outside of that. All of that stuff. You know. And uh, around 3 a.m. When that comes. We will. Uh, here soon enough. Three or four, Probably about three, yeah, around 3 a.m. We'll uh, have dinner. Which will be a hot dog. That's what we're going to do. Zaldin Prime. Thank you for the 21 months man. Appreciate you. Camp on the Sandy Station roof next. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't act like the, the, the grass. I would laugh my butt off if a cop went by, whizzing by and just didn't even notice it. You know? Honking. Okay, we're at uh one forty six AM. We're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah, I'm gonna take my uh sweater off, be right back. Much better. J. Michaels, thank you for the 41 months. And Centel 2021, thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate you. Big time, guys. Thank you. Narbubs, thank you for the four months. Love you, too. All right. Let's go ahead and do our hot dog. All right, I'm going to roast our hot dog here. Oh, ah! oh no. Oh no. My tent caught on fire. Oh no. Oh dude. Well, since that just happened, 
We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to do it. Let's put the hot dog away. Put the hot dog away, buddy. Have to do a fire here. Start fire. Uh, 10. Uh, 10. There we go. Jesus. Oh, I'm going to die. Please don't die. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's no good. Cross the, cross the highway. <laughs> I didn't even mean for this to happen, but it did. Oh, no. I got to report it. I got to call. I got to call. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I got to call him. Oh, no. That's no good. <sighs> Already. Right out of the first camping spot. Out of the gate. Let's see how this goes. I'm calling 911. I just got to do the uh, 911 deal. Oh yeah, they're actually they're not on right now, so we don't have a dis they don't have a dispatcher on right now. So it won't matter. But that's not good. Our whole king all our gear's gone. All of it's gone. That quick. Just trying to do a hot dog. Trying to cook a hot dog. Couldn't do it. <laughs> oh. I don't know how to put the hot dog away. Um, well, I can do Del fire on that guy. Cause I don't need that there anymore. Cause he'll be able to put that one out anyway. Oh, have to be closer to it. To delete it. Let's hope somebody will answer this nine one one call, but it's, it's going to be tough. There is a, uh, there is fire on right now. So we'll see. Just leave it. Well, I have to. Hold on. You have to go to the U-Tool and buy new gear. Don't get hit by a car. Let's see if I can delete the fire. It can't fire now. I don't know if it will. What happened here? Um, camp Dell fire. There we go. I got it. It'll keep that going, but that's different. Okay. Hello, 911. Did you have an emergency? Yeah, man. Uh, I was going down the, the highway and there's a big fire across from like the prison. Okay. So uh, uh, I figured I'd be a good Samaritan. Just let you guys know what I saw. Okay. Can you tell if anybody's injured? Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. I, I haven't been asked to go to the, the jury. Uh, jury. I've had jury duty in a long time, man. Okay. And you said that's on the highway across from the prison? Yeah, you can't miss it. Like, it, I don't, I think like the bush is caught on fire or something. Okay. I'll get the uh, fire units on the way out there. All right, man. And what was your name? Uh, my name is a concerned citizen. Of San Andreas. Okay, sir. I'll get a fire unit on the way out. All right, thanks, man. Have a good day. You too. All right, well, there you go. They've been notified. How do I get rid of this hot dog? <gasps> I thought you had to do it twice and it put it away. Nope. Hmm. I don't know how you get rid of it. Oh, you know what? I bet you'll cancel a moat or do an emote and it'll do it. A prop emote. Let's do it. Apple. Nope. Just kidding. Airport bag. Nope. Just kidding. Cancel the moat. Nope. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of it. <sighs> well, maybe if I get in the car, it'll go away. Yeah, he still has it in his hand. He won't let go of the hot dog. I 
just did the emote menu and cancel emote. It did not do it. Dell hot dog. Change your character slightly to get rid of it. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Their parents. Let's do. Nope, doesn't matter. I wonder if we get in the car if he's gonna still have it in his hand. Oh my god, he still has it in his hand. I can't get rid of this hot dog. Respawn my ped. Okay. Good idea. That did it. Nope. He still has it in his hand, dude. Holy moly. Um, yeah. Marshmallow. Let's do that and then do it again. It just keeps respawning it. Hmm. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know how to do that. Oh, you can see that dude, that fire spread like crazy. It really did. We just have a stupid marshmallow sticking out. The top. Oh yeah. They're on scene. The brush. Oh, and then they just got the fire out. They did. The brush truck got the fire out. Nice. They're going to see the, they're going to see the tent The Oh no, there's another one there. They'll see. Oh, the tent's still there though. They'll know somebody's been camping there. All burned up to pieces for the uh, cause of fire. That's amazing. I doubt there'll be anybody in the U-Tool. But we'll have to get a new tent, so might as well. Maybe camp Dell hot dog and Dell marshmallow. Let's see. Oh, Dell object. No. Nope. Maybe object. Nope. Still has it in his hand. He just really likes his, uh, his marshmallows. That is correct. There has to be a way to remove it. Oh, no, oh, there it is. I just, I don't know how to get rid of it. Can we do it? Just, uh, I've got it. Let me try hitting up Darren who made this script. I don't dude. I don't know how you get rid of it. I don't know. Na, 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 na. There we go. Oh, here comes the rain. No, we're not going to do the rain. We'll turn that off in a minute. <laughs> We'll come back here into the camping section. Maybe we get a gun. Maybe that'll do it. I didn't even think about that.
Nope. E box. When I get a prop stuck, it usually does it. Okay. E box. Nope. Hmm. South camp in the U tool. We could. Since it's raining. <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. Uh, we already did spawn the pet in again. We did, we did. Let's go to Lance and then go to Lonnie. Yep, still has it stuck in his hand. Can't get rid of it. <gasps> oh, it, it fell. Well, it didn't fall. It's just it's there now. Uh, That worked, though. We got rid of it. I'm going to die and respawn. Come on now. That's a, little, that's a little bit extreme. Just a tad extreme. All right. So we got, we got our new tent. I'm going to pay for it. Uh, Jimmy pays for tent at U-Tool. There we go. We got a new tent. Oh, camp. It's stop roasting. I never saw that command. That's what he told me. It's stop. It's stop roasting. Okay. Well, now we know. Okay. Let's see. We're make everybody happy by removing the weather. Nobody wants this rain, man. It's been nonstop in the server. And and the reason why is because uh, V menu does the, the weather and it's random. And it's set to stay the weather for 30 minutes at a time. But sometimes it just continuously does uh, rain and there's nothing you can really do about it. So that's why we're not going to do it. This wouldn't be a bad spot over here to camp behind the dumpsters here. Somebody said we got to do the, uh, the roof of the BS BCSO. So that's going to be the next step. Now getting up there is going to be a different, uh, you know, situation, but we'll see how it goes. A lot of places to hide our car too, which will be nice. Paul, thank you for gifting five subscriptions out, brother. Zuriel, we got Great King, we got Shim, Larway, and, uh, Drabraham Drabraham stack stack JR I cannot pronounce that sorry there you go some of you guys got some interesting uh screen names sometimes and I'm like I do my best but I can't figure that one out Jabram stack Jabram's Drabram stack Junior Abrams Tech. Okay, there you go. Like the like oh, like you're a technician on it on the Abrams. Yeah, Lonnie doesn't know how to fly a uh, cargo bob. I thought Lonnie actually had a pilot's license. I can't remember his storyline, man. I haven't used it that often. I really don't remember. I thought he did fly at one point. But I'm not going to use a cargo, Bob. That's just like asking to be like, hey, look at me, everybody. I'm on top of the roof. Good way to get made immediately. I don't need a fast car for what we're doing. This is Lonnie's car. He loves his car. His little grotty. It's a classic. So we have uh, have to wait until the night. So in the evening time, we'll get set up for that. So we'll go to some places and get things popping here. Oh, I hear a helicopter. You hear that? Oh, it was a cargo bob. 
Interesting. Coincidence? Oh, a ladder from Utool? Well, can't really put a ladder prop on top of the car. That would be cool if we could. Let's scout it a little bit here. We'll scout out the spot. Got a tree there. I might be able to get on the roof. In there. I hop up on that thing there and then get up on there. We could use our car to do it. Then our car will be stuck down here. I don't know. Let's have a look here. Go scout it out and see what we can get away with. I hear the helicopter. There it goes. Okay. Now oh, there's a brush truck there. Yeah, I'm not sure about getting on the roof here. there uh, I'm gonna start dropping off the uh, the name of the server I'm on it, it's it's a moot point at this point there's a cop there hmm we'll need an object to get onto the roof a ladder would be best might have to do that in the night. There is no bench on the outside. It's underneath the, the awning. So you can't really do anything with that. What is this guy doing with my car? Are you kidding me? I saw you. I saw you over here. Mess with my car. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Climb that thing. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're gonna get up there, man. Anybody know how to get up there in, in GTA? Just in normal GTA without somebody who has actually done it before. I have to make another run. Yeah, then my car will be there. That is not a good idea. Because then the cops can run my plate and then they'll know exactly who owns it and it's just going to be abandoned there. It'll get towed. I mean, yeah, you could steal a car, but man, that seems a little bit much of what he would do. More than likely. I don't think you can in an legit way. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Let's 
see here. I guess the ladder is going to be the way we're going to have to go. And then we'll keep the ladder up there with us in RP. I think we're going to have to go that way. There's no other way up there. Without stealing a car or something like that. You can't stand on the hand really. Nope. I don't let you do that. Let's go to U Tool and we'll, we'll buy a ladder. Have to buy the yeah, we'll have to buy the ladder. They said something about the fire, uh, cause of fire. Oh, me, uh, cause of fire. I left them the tent there so they could put it together. Uh, campfire and burnt tent next to it. Oh, next to tit. Perfect. <laughs> Gasoline is cleaner. He's not cleaning anything. We're just camping. Box fan, thank you very much for the six months. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're not doing like extreme crazy RP. Like that's why I put stealth camping in the title. I mean, we're doing that. Even though we're on, it doesn't matter what server we're on. It doesn't matter at this point. Like I said, I'm going to start dropping the server name because it changes, I don't know, the expectations of what's going to happen in a RP and puts pressure on RP situations that doesn't need to be there. So, anywho. So within the RP of realism, we, we have to have a reason. We have to have a way to get up to the, uh, to the roof. And to do that, we're going to have to have a ladder to do it. That's the only way we can do it. I wish we had a prop where we could actually pop that through the car. That'd be pretty darn cool. But alas, there is none. I would love a prop generator. That'd be pretty neat. Okay. People can ask what server it is. I don't care. I'm not, we're, we're, we're over it. We're over it. We're, uh, we're just on OCRP. Doesn't matter what server. Doesn't matter how many people in here, who's in here, whatever. We're just doing our thing. Uh, GME will do a pays for a ladder. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. We'll see if the stop roasting works tonight too. That should. Okay. So we have to pop the trunk and drive with the trunk open. That'll probably get us pulled over, but I'll uh, RP that we have a ladder in it. We will, we will. It should be the boot, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, it would. Oh, it's, it can't. It would have to be on top. Okay. Yeah, because it's European. The back doesn't open up on this car. So we'll have to have a ladder on the roof. Oh, 
I'll do a GME. Uh, small green car has ladder poorly secured on top. There we go. Perfect. That way it'll just be known to anybody that sees this car, that there's a ladder on there. It'd be cool to have a ladder prop on top. Yes, I agree, but we don't have that. So we can pretend that there is. There's no hitch on this car. No, as you can see there, no hitch. So we have to get set up for our stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to go the back route into Sandy Shores. And then we're going to have to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a ladder ne down next to, uh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to actually, I'm going to hide the ladder across the street at a section of houses. And then we can use that to get up there. James, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. Appreciate you. First time seeing an OCRP stream, you take it absolutely. Uh, we do not have applications open currently right now. We won't for another who knows how long we have. We have to get people through the system currently. We don't have a paid staff or anything like that. Uh, it's volunteer time. And yeah, um, apart from that, I'll enjoy the style RP, not super old. Well, I'm doing server one style. R I'm doing realistic RP on server two. I'm just on server two. It doesn't matter what server we're on anymore because I'm, I'm like I said, I'm going to start moving away from that because every time we talk about what server we're on, that becomes the pressure of what you need to do in said server. Oh, there's a cop here and they know that we have a poorly secured ladder on the roof. Uh Oh, I'm not interested. Okay. Okay. Yep. Snow will be in December. Probably only for a couple of weeks. I don't think we're doing it for the full month. Oh, that cop pulled out though. See if we can shake him. Eh, he's not at the intersection anyway. Oh no, he's coming down this way. <laughs> no, there he goes. I think the problem is I think we have two. There's so many different RP servers out there. Everybody assumes that everybody does everything the same way. And oh, there's a cop there. Damn it. <laughs> we did all that just for that. He's probably gonna pull us over because of the poorly secured ladder on the roof. More than likely. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe they, didn't, maybe they didn't see the the message, the memo about it. But um, yeah. Anywho, going back to that, the whole like A versus B thing, and you got to get away and all that stuff. We don't we don't tend to do that here. 
uh, at OCRP. We have server two for people who want to do less realistic stuff. Server one is a, is the hardcore server for Sibs. Server two is not. Oh, they didn't care about my my ladder. We don't have Netflix cop tiers. This, this isn't DOJ. This isn't former RP groups that I have played on. This is OCRP. We do. It's it's not a whole like cops versus the sieve to the extreme where we play roadside court and all that stuff. We don't we don't do anything like that. We're all adults and we like that's the thing. We can use our imagination and type in there. Hey, I have a ladder on my roof. We don't have to have something for that for it to be real and for cops to see it that way and all that. So I'm trying to explain the best I possibly can. But it's 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 just it's hard to it's difficult to do that because everybody does things differently. But no one should ever assume that that is the case. All right, we're going to back this sucker in to here. And I'm going to actually unload this ladder into this over here into the trees. Let's grab the ladder off the roof. And we'll set it down right here for nightfall. That should, you know what? I don't think I can use the ladder. Huh? Cause I think it's only for the fire department. Well, it's going to change things up. Uh Oh, I'd have to steal one off of a, <laughs> a fire truck. Pull this off. Oh, we can. We can. We get one off the brush truck here. People here. Do we looking at the boxes over here and I'm looking at the plywood? I'm gonna ask him if this plywood's a, is for sale. <laughs> we'll have to come in here in the night to steal one. Hey man, is it? Any of this uh, wood here for sale? No, sir, it's not. Uh, who owns it? It's the fire department's wood. It's used for trainings. What do you guys use it for trainings for? Burn it. Practice you... structure fires. Oh, you just like burn like all of that in like a, a whole like thing? No, we, we build like sheds and stuff and practice structure fires. No, man, I didn't start a fire. I was just wondering if the wood was on, was for sale. Nobody ever said he started a fire, sir. Oh, okay. No, oh, we're saying we build stuff out of the wood, light it on fire, and practice putting out fire. Oh, okay, I got you. Hey, uh, I'm work. Well, the reason why I'm at asking about the wood, man, is because I uh, I'm working on my house, and I and I I can't. I can't like get the my my friend on the phone because I need to you know to borrow a ladder. So I don't know if you guys had a ladder I could borrow. Uh, we do not. Know. You don't have like a small ladder or something that I can borrow. I mean, we no, keep sorry. ladders on our fire truck, but those are used in case of emergency. Okay, man. I was just wondering. But uh, but yeah, but I was uh, that's some nice looking wood there. So I just uh, I was interested to see if you had it on for sale. Unfortunately, we. Didn't. All right, oh, man. Sorry, but I mean, if you go down to the YouTube, man, I'm pretty sure they got plenty of wood that they'll be more than happy to sell you. No, man. I no, I don't upload to YouTube. Well, really, they got some pretty good deals. 
Oh, yeah, no, I know because sometimes they cram those those advertisements like straight down your throat. My son always has it on his phone. Yeah, I got you. You just gotta be aware of that cashier, uh, Kathy, I believe her name is. She's kind of a douchebag. I don't know who that is, man. What's going on uh, with the helicopters, can't... man? It's like I... back, I feel like I'm back in Nam. I don't know. All we know is he's been low hovering over Sandy this entire time. He even picked up a vehicle from the taco stand and took it God knows where. Oh, you guys got to do something about that, man. Oh, we can't do anything about it. Oh, you can't do anything about it? But you guys are like wearing blue, man. We're firefighters, not police. Well, you must know a cop, don't you? I mean, yeah, but they're aware of it, but they can't really do it. Well, you can ask them to do like a favor for you, because, man, I'm telling you what, I'm not the only one that's a vet, man. And that reminds me of us, you know, having to breathe napalm and all that stuff in the morning when I hear the sound of that chopper. Gotcha, man. We, we alerted the law enforcement. They're trying to catch it, but, I mean, they don't really have anything that can stop a helicopter. Right? As long as you try, trying, man, that's all you got to do. Yeah, I mean, the only really way that they can uh, get him to try to stop is when he lands to refuel, but yeah. who knows when that'll be. Hey, you got a sandwich, man? Uh, not on me, no. Oh, I'm like, I'm hungry, man. I just wanted to be at a sandwich. Hey, is that I mean, wood for sale? Uh, no. All right, man. All right, well, I got to get going, man. Have a good one. Yep, have a good night, sir. <laughs> These two are going to be watching me like a hawk now. It's going to be so hard to, to steal a freaking ladder off that thing. We'll try. In the nighttime, it'll be a lot easier. And then we have to get up on the roof. And then we have to, like, go easy. See how it works. Yeah, they're going to be watching me like a hawk. I have a feeling. No, if we do a false 911 call or set a fire, they're taking the trucks. We have to get the ladder off the truck itself. That's the only way we can get a ladder. Actually, there's a Silverado I can get a ladder off of. If that doesn't work. But this will be more fun. This will be more of a challenge to try to get one off of the brush truck. The scene down there. I don't want, don't want to be a part of that. Okay. Have to be super sneaky here. They're going to hear the sound of that. I think that's what, what they heard. They heard me jump the fence. They're going to find a different way in. That Mundo. Oh. Oh, dude, they're walk walking around. Like, what are they doing? They don't normally do that. They're hawking the trucks. Why are they hawking the trucks? They never do this. They always hang out in the front. And now there's a cop there. Yeah. 
you know the cop there there's just no there's that dude he's just sitting there watching the back of the truck over there yeah pff. sucks oh the joy <laughs> Yeah, he's literally just standing there in a corner staring right at me. All right. Well, I'm not going to play that. We're good. Whatever. They never do that. They never hang out back there. That's why I thought we'd be able to easily be able to do it. But I have to try something else. <sighs> Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I mean, plan B. It is what it is. All right. Veil of the night. Camp tent. <laughs> I have a camp tent here. It's not a very con it's not a very good spot for it, but <laughs> We'll try the oh here comes no this rain out of here man you see what i'm talking about it won't change it any other weather it always just like it wants to default to rain over and over it's, i wish we had a better uh weather script uh we'll do a stove on this one we're not doing a fire we'll do a stove there we go there we go i'm gonna do this and we're gonna do a sunbathe too Come on. Is it two or one? It's two. There we go. He's kind of chill. Oh, he saw it immediately. <laughs> he saw it immediately. <laughs> well, I told you guys. I, <laughs> it wasn't going to be a good spot. That's all right. Here, I got an idea. Let's do a Dell, uh, wait, camp, Dell fire, and then a camp, uh, camp, Dell object. There we go. Let's go on the other side. We're going to move it. We're going to move all our stuff over to this spot over here. He's going to be seeing things. We're going to roll everything up and set it down here on the ground real quick. And I'm going to just lay here until they leave. But I think it's already a done deal. I think they are just already going to know. Damn. That didn't take long at all. That didn't take long at all. I'm just going to lay low here for a second. Let's take our hat off. Well. There we go. My car's there though. Remember when we were like, we got, you got to use your car. They're going to know who I am. Oh, yep. They're going to be running my car. I have an idea. Let's see if the coast is clear to plop down right here. Coast clear. Yep. I'm going to, yep. Do a crouch. I'm going to be at the sheriff station. I'm going to say, Hey man, I saw somebody, I saw a fire on the roof. Let me do that. Let's do that. Rings bell at front desk of BCSO. 
<laughs> unless he knows who he saw me. He probably saw me. Maybe he just saw the fire. I don't know. Because I'm a concerned citizen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see when we get out of this. I don't, I don't know about that. We're going to try. I'm definitely going to try. Now oh, there goes the fire department. Oh, what's going on, man? How you doing? Not too bad, sir. How are you? Can you help me with a little problem that I have? Possibly. What is your problem, sir? Yeah, I'm a con concerned citizen, and I saw somebody was like, uh, I saw like a, a, a fire on top of your roof. You know what? It's funny you say that because when I was driving down Zancudo, I actually saw the same thing. Did you see who had started the fire on top of the building? No, I didn't see who started the fire. I saw a dude run off that way, and I was like, whoa, what's going on, man? Okay. Do you, what did the uh, guy look like? He was dressed in all black, man. He was like Johnny Cash or something. Okay, so we got a Johnny Cash lookalike start fire yeah. on top of our station? Mm-hmm. Well, we can't have that. Oh, man, who called the grouper troopers in, man? <laughs> hey, it's a grouper trooper. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What is hey, your guys, name, sir? Hey, no, uh, buddy, how are you? My name is Lonnie Price. Okay, Mr. Price. Hey, have you seen a green car around here, man? As a matter of fact, I saw one parked out back. That wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Yeah, that's my car, man. I, par I yeah, I was I saw the fire and I had to come in here. I I thought that the uh, the sheriff's office door was in the back, man. But they they told me I need to have like a cut on my arm or something to be there. Okay, uh, give me one second. I'm just gonna put this uh, information out real quick. If you want to hang out with, uh, what did you call this guy again? Oh, that's a grouper trooper, man. They, they just, they worry about the, you know, the fish, the grouper fish. I like that. That's a good one. If you don't okay. mind hanging out with the grouper trooper, I'll be right back. Yeah. You're going to use that one, aren't you? Yeah. It's, it's not bad. It's kind of catchy. <laughs> so, I can't lie. Is there, as often is as I can, roof on the or what's going on? Uh, oh, so I was driving down Zancudo and there was like. Hey, have you seen a like a, a green car, man? At top, and then I came back around. Uh, and it was I have gone. not. I thought the uh, other deputy said there might be one behind. Um, yeah, I parked. I, can go take a look I if you want. can't remember where I parked my car, man. All right, let me uh, let me run around back and check over there for you. All right, I appreciate it, man. I'm just gonna have yep. fire come down and check the. Hey, you got a sandwich, sure man? Okay. You have like a grouper sandwich or something? A grouper sandwich. Yeah, it's like, you know, because that's like the native fish around here in the waters is a grouper. Gotcha. Hey, madam, can we help you? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just want some donuts for the cops, because I heard cops like donuts. <laughs> you heard cops like donuts, so you bought... Hey, donuts. yeah, I'll have a donut, man. Uh, uh okay. are, you, are you a cop? Well, I mean, I'm not... I'm not like one of these guys here, but yeah, I mean like I used to be in the military All right, that counts. You can have a donut. What kind do you want? It's the rusty brown kind so they may not be very good Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Well, thank you very much uh, Yeah, welcome uh, Mr. Flick, uh, do you want one too? <laughs> Hey man, so I've check it out. I uh, I sent a uh, be on the lookout like for uh, the guy who was burning stuff on top of the uh, station yeah. here. I'm gonna have the firefighters go up and check it out. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah, yeah. I was worried about it, man, because like I saw a fire off like the road earlier, man, and I was like, oh, uh, what's happening out here? Yeah, that was kind of my response too. I I was like, how the heck did the roof just spontaneously catch on fire? But I'm gonna have the firemen go up there and check it out. Maybe they can enlighten me. All right, man. Yeah, I'm just trying to be a good citizen of Sandy Shores, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ever since I moved up here, man, I'm just trying to make sure it's, like, not gone to hell because that's what people are trying to do around here is make this place go to hell. Yeah, where'd you move from? Prison. <laughs> Fair I, enough. I was hanging out with my buddy Sticky Ricky, and we had, we had way, way too many mushrooms, man, and I thought, like, we had got, like, abducted or something. 
And then I didn't realize that we were in a, like a, a pursuit with the police. And then they like tased me and I went to jail for a while. Hey, uh, I've got to ask, uh, Sticky Ricky, what's the background on that? Well, I mean, we just called him Sticky Ricky from back in the day at high school, man. Okay. Hey, you got a bathroom, man? I honestly don't think uh, the one in here is working. Uh, you might want to have to run over to Mama John's and borrow theirs. Uh, okay, the man. Is, hey, uh, have you seen a green car, man? Yes, sir. Actually, I just saw one. Uh, I can take you to it if you like. Oh, yeah, that'd be great, man. Thanks. All right. Paul, uh, you got anything else with them? Mr. Grouper Trooper, you got anything? <laughs> uh, I, I don't I don't know what's going on. I feel like I just did some mushrooms myself. I'm just going to go to that. <laughs> All right, no, I, uh, I had the uh, firefighters here to just check on the roof, make sure there wasn't anything running up there. The only thing I was going to tell him was the uh, same thing that you uh, reiterated there, Deputy Larson, that uh, we prefer you use the bathroom next door. Our toilet right now has got this thing when you flush it, it sends you through the ceiling, so we don't want that to happen to you. It's like a super power. All right, today. man. It's well, really I weird. yeah, can you show me? Do you remember where my car is, man? Because that's what you just said. Yeah. Yeah, All right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, I'm going to go talk to Fire if you don't mind helping him. Yeah, sounds good, man. All right, All right Mr. Hey, hey, follow me. Mr. Price, it was nice, meeting nice meeting you, buddy. Hey, nice to meet you, man. I'm glad you guys do something, you know, more than, uh, you know, look look out for, you know, the, the life of the fish. Because some of these guys out here, man, they, they care about the fish more than the people. Yeah, I, I believe that. It's like really bright over here, man. Whoa! Yeah, the fire department's taking a look at the... Uh, hey, have you seen a green car around here, man? Because I like parked my car around here the other day. Like, what about this one right here in front of us? Oh, yeah, that's it, man. Perfect. <laughs> you, uh, you, you doing all right to drive, Mr. Price? Yeah, I'm good, man. I just had a donut from that lady in there. Okay. They right. took my tent and fire supplies. Um, any other questions? Anything I can do help you with? Nope, nothing else, man. All right, Mr. Price, you have a good rest of your day then. All right, later. Take care. Oh, we just need to get something off that. That's where we need it. They took our tent and our fire supplies. But we need a spot where we can actually grab one of these ladders off this truck. No, we don't need the ladder anymore because, I mean, we're going to pick a new spot. What do you guys think? All right. We'll take suggestions for the next spot because we got made on that immediately because it's such a shallow roof. But, hey, we got up there. We certainly tried. Top of one of the billboards. Billboard. Motel. I said we do the billboard. I think we can do it. We we'll have to wait till the next nightfall, though. Doing it during the day is going to be really tough. But we'll see. Because yeah, that billboard there, we can cross the road. I know where we can park our car and stuff. Let's have a look here. And climb it. I wonder if a uh, tent. I bet we can get a, a tent up there. I bet we can. Oh, yeah, we can. We got plenty of room there for a tent. We'll just have to hide in these trees and stuff. We'll park the car uh, behind the 24-7 or something. But now I have to go get more stuff from Utool. All Camping supplies are expensive. Lion should buy stock in Utool. Not wrong. Oh, damn. I mean, 
Caught some ground there. I get this car to go as fast as it can. Yield to tool points for all these purchases. You better believe it. You best believe it. for a tent and firewood. Brian, thank you for gifting out five subscriptions. Appreciate you. Jacob, Woozy's got an uh, angry taker in Reservoir. Welcome. Big thanks to Brian for that. Appreciate you big time, dude. Very, very cool of you to help this uh, community grow and help people with the ad-free experience, except for the one in the beginning because there's nothing we can do about that. But we don't run mid-rolls here. His front radar didn't catch me. <laughs> yeah, that's the billboard we're going to do. We're going to do the big one, the big main one in the front. But we just have to wait for nightfall to do it. We might be able to get up there during the day, but it it's hard to say. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our supplies and we're going to set it in uh, in the bushes nearby to begin with. That's what we're going to do. do it e box it for our uh, supplies and we're gonna go put this in a in a tree nearby hey bucko what's up we're gonna remaking it would you like to see something added to it uh the only thing in our server is I'll have to show it to you the uh the windows or are, are like the um the detail on the outside is like all screwed up when we look out of the windows. I'm not sure why it's happening. The 
it's like the uh the draw distance is like nothing in there you can't see out of them like in a clear way you know what i mean all right Kobe Meads, what's up? How you doing? Scott, thank you for gifting a subscription to It's Bucko. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I think this will be a good spot to set it down. So we have our tent supplies right in here. There we go. We'll get to that later tonight and we'll be able to go up right up to it. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. I love the boathouse. It just needs, it needs a little love. It needs like more of a reason for people to go. They've hosted like a PTA meeting there and stuff, but uh, a lot of the other stuff, there's not a whole need for it. Josh, we're doing just fine. How you doing? Mm -mm. Sleeping Force 20. Appreciate you. How you doing? Are you kidding me? Why is this? Every time I leave my car, people are like walking around it suspiciously and then they disappear into thin air No, there he is. He's across the street. That guy. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, well. hey, were you just like walking around my car? No. 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 All right, man. We'll have a good one. Later. <laughs> They're admiring its beauty. Absolutely. Yeah, see, they always hang out right in front, like that. I don't know why they're all hanging out in the back. They don't normally do that. But it's all good. No, it's a cool sports car. Uh, no, that's uh, Hedwig's fire station. Head wigs. Whoa. I'm gonna drive out to Joshua Tree and have a joint. There we go. 
pot. What is it? Smoke weed? Yep. There you go. He's good now. So now we just have to wait for the, uh, the sun or the day to go by until nightfall and we'll get up there. 11.02 in the morning. Uh, he used to have a Yuga van and then it, uh, or the other stuff. Oh, hey, dad. How do I drive smoothly? Controller. <clears throat> A bucko, you're going to shoot me an email. Uh, jfabiano at gmail.com, man. That's the best way. JJ Brantley, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to be stoned as hell. He's going to be driving at like 20 miles an hour. Which is a cliche, but it makes it funny. There we go. Perfect. All right, no problem. Thanks for uh, stopping by and hanging out with us, Bucko. Appreciate it. We love the boathouse and we uh, certainly love the Polito Bay Fire Department as well. Yeah, Lonnie likes his little Fiat. I'm excited for the nightfall. I'm excited to get up there on that billboard and see what we can do with it. <laughs> 20 miles an hour. pulled over I'm, I can't say how many times we get pulled over at the pumps it is pretty constant <laughs> I know I don't know exactly what that is Afternoon, sir. Deputy with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Um, so just wanted to have a chat with you. You were uh, doing a little slow there on Joshua Road. Everything all right? Yeah, man. I was like in first gear and it wouldn't go into second and then it finally went into second gear, man. 
Yeah, I saw that once I got turned around, it looked like you were able to pick up a little bit of speed. Um, well, just for the sake of the stop, you got license registration proof of insurance on you? Uh, yeah, my name is Lonnie Price. Here you go. Okay. All right, Mr. Price, I appreciate that. Vehicle, come back to your name. Yeah, it's my car, man. All right, making sure. All right, well, uh, Mr. Price, just hang tight for a second. I'm going to check this information. I'll be right back with you. All right, man. <sighs> well, I have tattoos myself. I don't think he would ask a question like that. More than likely not the case. I wonder what uh, Lonnie's record looks like. It's active. He's good. What's going on over there? <laughs> All right, Mr. Price, here's your information back. I appreciate your cooperation. Just mainly wanted to make sure everything was okay. Make sure you weren't having some kind of medical emergency or anything. Um, so you're free to go at this time. As soon as I get back in my vehicle, um, you're free to pull off or step out of the vehicle, whatever you need to do. All right, man. I was going to pump some gas. Is that okay, man? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. You're Like I said, as soon as I get in my vehicle and turn off the lights, you're free to, to do whatever you need to do. All right, man. All right, sir. Well, you have a wonderful rest of your day. You have a wonderful rest of your day, officer. All right. I appreciate you it. You always got to call them officers because you, you wouldn't know the difference between deputy and trooper. I always try to make sure of that. Oh, there goes the grouper trooper. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, sorry, man. I, I think I got, like, earplugs in or something. I see your mouth moving, but I don't hear anything. No, because I wasn't talking at the time. Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> your mouth is... You're good, man. What's going on? Oh, your mouth's moving when mine was moving, man. That was <laughs> freaking me out. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's a nice car that you got. Oh, yeah, man. I love that old gratty. Um, you don't get to see those quite often. No, this is a cool car, man. When you get this. Uh, I, I actually do uh, the, I actually uh, race for a living, so. Oh, you, like, you race, like, like a 4K, yeah, professionally, professionally. like a marathon or something? No, no, I, I, I race, race car. This one just happened to, happens to be my street. Uh, I got. Hey, man, have you seen a, like a little green car around here? Is this one right behind you? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's my car, man. <laughs> I was about to say, um, look behind you. Oh, I got you. Yeah, no worries. Hey, do you have like a you, you have a sandwich or something, man? 
No, unfortunately, I don't. Oh, all right, man. Hey, right. you know what time the sun's supposed to go down? Uh, <laughs> I think around 6, 6.15, I guess. Like 6, 6.15 a.m.? Hey, sir. Can, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, can you come over here a second? You and I need to have a conversation. About? Oh, busted, uh, man. <laughs> My speed, what are you talking about? Yeah, your speed. What, what about, what about? Oh, what I just got about? pulled over for your going too to slow, man. Answer. From where and what time? <laughs> uh, well, multiple places. Joshua, Algonquin, Panorama Drive. <laughs> the deputy that was trying to catch up with you but couldn't because you were traveling too fast. What are you talking about? I, I have no knowledge, but all right. I have no knowledge. Do you, you have your uh, driver's license and registration for insurance on you, sir? Everything is in the car. Hey, man, I got pulled over for going too slow. <laughs> Yeah, it uh, seems to be the latter this evening, apparently. Well, I wasn't speeding, man. I, I, I was trying to get it to go into gear, and I got pulled over for it. Yeah. Sick, uh, sick ink. This guy says he's a race car, he, like he's a racer or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He races. Yeah, that's my profession. Dude, hey, man, how much money you make off there. that, man? Oh, what? What, what, what my job? Yeah, for racing, is that like a good good amount of money, man? I make about two hundred a year, two hundred thousand a year. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, that'd get a so lot of touchy rolls. <laughs> uh, oh, you all right? Yeah, man, I'm cool. All right. Bad. There. Hey, so how long did it take you to put all those stickers on your car, man? Uh, it's, it's all just a wrap. Uh, so it took me about it took me about two hours to, to fully complete this. Oh, I thought you were a racer, man. I didn't know you were a wrap. I <laughs> no, this is a wrapping on on a car. So oh, it's like all, like ever, Christmas all like take... wrapping paper, man. So you just beat me to the uh, beat me to the punch. That was my same question. So like, <laughs> is it the same gift wrap they use like when I like you know put the gift wrap paper mm, for my kids? Not exactly. No. Oh. Oh man, my uh, my old girlfriend always told me I had to use two pieces of tape, but that ain't enough, man. Mm -mm. This wow, thing two? is sealed right on until like you use a heat gun, and then it just comes off. It comes off. Yeah, she you said if you were if you're using more than two, you're doing it wrong. Well, it depends, but not this. There's, well, it's a little bit pretty much a trial and error on this car. I usually just give them like a U-tool bag or something, man, and just hand it to them. It's the same thing. It's wrapped. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. It, everything is just different these days. Hey, man, do you mind if I clean up this trash on the ground right here, man? Are you asking me or him? I mean, I'm asking the world. Is it okay if I pick that up? Because it's like I'm trying to turn this place around. What? Are you trying to turn it around or right around? What the hell? <laughs> You see what I'm seeing too, right? Yeah, it looks like the Indy 500's uh, coming early. Sir, hey, how you doing? Uh, there, group trooper. This is the uh, guy you're looking for. <laughs> huh? This uh, guy wants to have a uh, word with you, sir. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean uh, this up, man. This is a mess. Hey, do you want a broom? I have a broom in the back of my uh, Durango. Oh yeah, that'd be cool, man. Yeah, oh yeah, hey, hold on a you. second, man. I for sure. I gotta like, hold on a second. Yeah, no worries. I forgot I was pumping gas, man. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this over and over. I'm just gonna drive off. Burger. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, do you know how to get to Alhambra Road? Hey, buddy, do you know how to get to Alhambra? Whatever he said. 
Well, I can't hear him over here. My you know how to get to Alhambra Road from here, man? Alhambra Road, do you know where that at? Yeah, I'm looking for Alhambra hey, Road. Where was? Hey, can you shut that off for a second? <laughs> Why? Well, are you talking to me or him? Shut it off for a second so I don't have to scream? Okay, okay I'm hold on. Tank. Hey, yeah, it's A L H A M B R A. It's what I got written down here, man. Hey, BBJ, turn off your tag. Okay, hold on. Are you from around here, man? Oh, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. First of all, how you doing? Definitely. I'm from everywhere. I'm looking for Alhambra Road, man. Tags and stuff for these things to be driving on my own. Yeah, I don't know where that at, man. I'm just driving no. everywhere. All right. Well, later, dude. All right. Love your car, though. Yeah, just took my go car. <laughs> yeah, you guys took my go car. I said you guys, so yes, including you. Here we go. Ask this guy. Hey, do you know where Alhambra Road is, man? Uh, what? Do you know where Alhambra Road is? I'm looking for two blocks over that way. I'm looking for Alhambra Road, man. I know Alhambra. I think it's right there on the like two blocks to our right. Two to the right. All right, thanks, man. Be safe. <laughs> God, he's a taxi cab driver, and he doesn't know where Alhambra Road is. <laughs> that is incredible. Two two blocks over to the right. Algonquin. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's too good. Oh man, they got a whole bunch of stuff. What is this? It's almost that time of night. So we're going to have to park and then cross the street and then get to our camping supplies. Works for me. Oh, there's a cop here. Okay. We'll park at Mama John's and cross the street. Got our hat. There you go. Got to have our lucky hat on for camping. Ray didn't think about the 10 months. Appreciate you. Oh, I was just uh, feathering the throttle to make it sound like I was going through gears.
This is not GTA music, no. Epidemic Sounds Library. So we got to kind of wait this out for nightfall so we can get our, we already dropped our supplies off here at this spot. And that is where we're going to go right there up that, that ladder, but it has to be at night. man named Ryan. Thank you for the seven months. Hope you had a good weekend and are doing well this evening. I am indeed. Thank you very much. Ring gap. What's up, man? We doing good. We doing good. Just waiting for the sun to go down here. goes it dude all right it's time to start moving out to our spot both ways watch out for cops Sneaky. I think at some point you just gotta go, you know. Here we go. As fast as possible, fast as possible, fast as possible. There might be room there. I don't know. For a tent up here. Ooh man, it's gonna be close. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, <laughs> barely enough room, but Hey, it's going to work. I think let's go like this. Try not to fall off and die. That's the biggest thing. I want to fall off and die. We'll do a camp stove. Perfect. And then we'll sit on. Um, there we go. We're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. <laughs> Hope you don't move when you sleep. No kidding, right? Oh, they see it. How? Oh, already? How do they see this already? That took no time at all. Well, it's over now. That's a tiny little fire. I don't know how they saw that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> mm 
-hmm. Can't be behind the board. Can you? Maybe you can. I mean, it's pretty light. <laughs> They're going to have to come all the way up here to break it up. I'm going to make them work for it. Oh, he's got a megaphone. Oh, here comes the fire department. <laughs> hey, sir. Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Can you hear me? Whoa. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Deputy I'm Blaine doing County all right. Office. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you fine, man. What's going on? Hey, sir. You can't be up here, um, especially not with a fire that close to the wooden billboard. Oh, I'm just camping, man. Okay, well, this is private property. You're not supposed to be up here. Oh, I didn't know. Here, let me put out the fire, man. Well, I, uh, I appreciate you offering to put the fire out, but you're not supposed to be up here, period, unless you're doing maintenance on the billboard. Oh, no one told me about that, man. Yes, sir. Well, um, I mean, these are privately owned entities, so it, it's kind of a, a given. Can you go ahead and take your tent down for me as well? Yeah, I can take my tent down. I didn't know All I right. couldn't camp up here, man. Well, I understand the confusion, but, uh, yeah, this, it's not a, not very safe thing as you know, you could fall but, and, and B it is, like I said, it's private property. Okay, man. Yeah. No problem, dude. Uh, 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 uh. All right, uh, Mr. Price, isn't it? I think I stopped with you at the gas station. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Was uh, I was just I saw your car over there. I was just looking for you. Let's um, are you feel comfortable going down the ladder? Or do you need assistance? Yeah, down? man. I can go down the ladder. No problem, man. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'll walk you back up here. I'm gonna let you go down first. All right, nice and slow. <laughs> yeah, I did too, but there was no good way to get him down. <laughs> Mr. Lonnie, can you hear us? Hear me. Uh, uh, he, he missed the ladder. He missed the ladder completely. Wow. <laughs> I went down the ladder. I, I don't know. He it... caught his leg in the wrong, but they're pay. They're they're so hard yeah, to go that's down. Possible too. So difficult. So uh, the laws of gravity sucked over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 From about forty feet. Oh man, I hate the revive script. Does that? 
That's so annoying. Changes you back into the MP ped. Uh, what's his name? It's uh, Lonnie Price. Uh, Mr. Price, can you hear me? Yeah, man. All right, you just had a mega fall, sir. Oh, uh, okay, man. We're gonna check you out and get you to the hospital. We got a set of vitals real quick. Mr. Price, they're uh, gonna get you taken care of, all right? Yeah, unfortunately, I guess you uh, got caught up on that first rung at the top there, and it kind of sent you over. Yeah, man, I guess I missed my step, man. Uh, partner, he's got a broken leg and multiple cuts. Yeah, I see that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha man. I can't feel Probably my leg, man. a little bit, but yeah, I'm about to put a splint on that leg, buddy. Okay, on, I'm gonna man. Check this. I'm going to check the severity of it. If it's too severe, we can't put one on. If it's just like a hair, if it's not bad, then we will be able to put one on. Hey, you guys seen a, a green car around here? I'm gonna get a good look at this faction. Go ahead and just get the split ready just to be safe. We'll say from that, I mean, that's a pretty high fall. He would have probably died, but we'll just go with he shattered his leg, he broke his leg, and then he was unconscious and he has cuts on him. That's pretty much that. All right, it should be secure to put a splint on. All right, All right I'll help you get the splint. Mr. Price, this may hurt just a little bit. Okay, man. Pretty much got on this, gotta tighten it up a little bit. Alright, don't tighten it too much. Hey, can someone move that explore? Not you guys. Sorry, I was talking to the other guys. Oh, see, they could have had a ladder up there and I could have gotten on that easily. Have they gone straight up with it? Alright, let me know when you're ready. Well, they have me go down that way. Alright, ready to slide him on. Slide it under him. I'll roll him my way. All right, sounds good. Yep, he's gonna be in a wheelchair Eight, for a while. Three, two, two, one, roll. Yep. All right. Okay. On your go, we'll lift. All right, lifting. Three, two, one. All right, let's get him on a stretcher. There we go. Oh, don't feel so good, man. I'm gonna get Take you inside it. the ambulance. The, my medic in the back is gonna get you started on food. So we're gonna transport you down to the pill box. All right, buddy. All right, man. <laughs> there we are. I'm gonna wait to get in this truck until I'm pretty much clear. All right. Classic. Classic. There we go. Our camping trip. Is over. The ladder truck would have been a lot easier to come down. A whole bunch of stuff happened in the yellow jack. A whole bunch of stuff.
Well, this is easily stealth camping gone wrong, man. Not a single stealth camp went right tonight. Not one. Caught it on fire back here in the right here on the left. Yeah, right over here. We caught that on fire. We got caught immediately on the roof of the BCSO and we got caught immediately on the billboard. Yeah, it's a lawyer billboard. Pretty amazing. Oh yeah, they're trying to get me down there as soon as possible. Pull up that lawyer billboard too accessible. Yup, not wrong. Not wrong at all. Yup, enjoyed the donuts. Uh, no, you're just seeing desync in the back of this thing. That's what happens. Whenever you're in the back of a vehicle like that. All right, we're here at Pillbox Hill. So Lonnie's going to be in a wheelchair next. After that, he's not his stealth camping days are pretty much done. Not going to lie. Hey man, are we almost there, man? Yeah, we're here, but I'm having some difficulties getting you out the back. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can possibly just get off the stretcher inside there and walk inside. There you go. Can you give me like a wheelchair, man? Yeah, yeah, I'll grab me the wheelchair from inside here. <laughs> he can actually pick up that uh, wheelchair and bring it to me. It works. Yeah, if we fell 30, I mean, the thing is, we could have RP, you RP death and what? You, these guys get nothing to do. That's the thing. That's why we don't do it that way. All right, man. I got a wheelchair here for you, buddy. All right. Thanks, man. I got to find out which one that is. Just is called a wheelchair? It is. Nope. I got to find out what that is. Service. Uh, what is the wheelchair under? Here, whatever. I don't know what the wheelchair is under. Stupid, I bet you. I really did just, I just did spawn by name. Do you remember what it's actually called? It's 
not wheelchair. Oh, there it is. Got it. I AK wheelchair. There we go. Whee! <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, so Lonnie's going to be in a wheelchair from here on out. I'm going to send you guys over to Paul. Show him some love. Good time RPing with him tonight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I had a blast uh, with our, our, our camping gone wrong as per usual. So go show Paul some love, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.